We do want to start yep. on an uplifting note tonight because our family grew by one. The 360 family grew by one over the weekend when Adam Trelaw and Kim welcomed their bub into the world. Oh, so let's meet them, shall we? Adam, congratulations. <laughs> Introduce us. Thank you very much. Who have you got yeah, there? Yeah, well, we've got little Georgie here. So jo Georgie Olive Trelaw. So um, she was born at 12.30 a.m., 23rd, so uh, we checked in at 3.30 a.m. on the 22nd, and I checked out at 3.30 a.m. On the, on the 23rd. So, um, yeah, it's been a whirlwind couple of days, um, considering everything that's going on, and, um, and then obviously Kim and I welcoming our little precious Georgie. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the two months in isolation with her. So um, can't wait to uh, just to uh, love her and, and unconditionally be with her all the time. So it's good. You're a very, very good runner. Your endurance is great, but you're not a great mark. So be very, very careful there, <laughs> Adam, with Georgie. <laughs> yeah, no, she's uh, she's already stolen my heart, Robbo. Um, it's quite funny because Jack and I in the uh, in the green room, green room used to always talk about um, you know his baby and then what it's going to be like for me. So uh, I never thought the time was going to come, and um, it's here. So um, I haven't had much sleep the last two days, but. Uh, it's really true when people say that you never love anything um, like your own flesh and blood until you until you're with them. So um, yeah, love her dearly. When when Jared says congratulations and we all sit here and say, you yeah, know, we're really happy for you, Adam. I, I think we're a bit of extra specially happy for you. Since you've been on our show, you've been a a person who's really opened himself up with 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 your struggles in life, your excitement in life, your worries. And now your joys. So when we say here, we're really happy for you. We genuinely mean that. And I hope you hope you take it as that, mate. We're, we're so proud of you. Um, and we're sure you're going to be a great dad. You're a great footballer. You're a great person. So well done again. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Robbo. Thank you, Jared. I really appreciate it. Um, the love and support that I've received from so many people and... Um, it's, it's really been overwhelming. I think, um, you know, Kim and I never really ante anticipated the love that we we're going to get, I suppose. And, um, yeah, it, it's, uh, it, makes you, it makes you feel really special, really loved. Um, appreciate everything that we have in life, especially with everything that's going on at the moment. Um, obviously with the coronavirus and, um, you know, I was very na naive towards it. I never thought it was going to get to where it was. And, um, you know, if, if obviously if Georgie wasn't here, it probably would be a whole complete story for, <coughs> for myself and Kim and, um, you know, sort of everything that I've gone through in the last couple of years. So um, for her to be born um, the day where, you know, the AFL sort of postponed for a couple of months and um, sort of everything that I've done my whole life has uh, been not taken away from me, but only taken away from me for the next couple of months. If you asked me that question um, or, or told me that last year, then probably would have been a completely different reaction to now where... Um, one, I thought it was the right thing to do, but secondly, it, it gives me time to spend um, with my family, with everyone that I love, um, especially with Georgie, and um, yeah, it just makes me appreciate and, and, and not take anything for granted, um, welcoming her into our life, and yeah, and then having this opportunity to spend time with her. But yeah, thank you so much, Rob. I really, I really do mean, I mean that with um, both years with Jack, everyone that I work with that. Um, obviously the show and um, the love I've received from everyone there, the flowers that I got just before, I mean, I've got millions of flowers inside and, and that was definitely the biggest bunch inside. So, um, yeah, I feel the love well and truly. So it's a beautiful summary, Adam. It's just, take us through. So when did you know footy was off and, and you're caught up in real life? Is, how did you make sense of it all while it was swirling around you? Yeah, well, um, we'd been at the hospital, like I said, from... From that, from 3:30 in the morning on um, the 21st. So it wasn't till I checked my phone, which was at about oh, it would have been 4 p.m. in the Arvo. So um, I didn't really know what was going on. I'd sort of been communicated to a little bit uh, from the footy club, but um, you know I was more invested and worried about what was going on with Kimmy and making sure she was okay and, and praying that the baby came out, um, you know, healthy and, and safely and. Well, yeah, it wasn't until about four or five I got a message from one of my mates um, that I actually had time to go check and have a coffee in, in one of the waiting rooms. And, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Like I said, um, it was something that I, I was very naive about. I didn't think, I didn't think that it was going to get to this point. Um, I don't think anyone did because 
Um, it started off being something um, over in, I think it was China or wherever it was, and um, you know, no, no one thought it's not going to get here, blah, blah, blah. I didn't really think it and take it seriously. And then it wasn't until my first show back on the show that um, we spoke about no crowds. And even then it was like, wow, I don't think that would ever happen. But um, fast forward a couple of weeks and here we are, the season's been postponed. But um, you know, I, like I said, I was, I, was, um, I was sort of for it from the start. Um, I felt like you know, we sort of needed to follow suit with what was going on and take um, the, the, the necessary, necessary safety that we needed to take. And I know that the industry that we're in, um, the AFL, I know that they'll look after their athletes, look after everyone involved the best way that they can. And um, hopefully when we overcome all this and overcome everything that's happened and happening in the world at the moment, we can um, unite together the way we did with the, um, the bushfires earlier on the year and um, you know, grow our game again. And not only our game, but all the games in Australia, the NRL, the A-League today, the cricket, everything, all the sports around the world. So I think it was a great step. Um, it's going to be hard not being able to play, not being able to train, not being able to see the boys as much as we can. But um, I've got no doubt that we'll come out um, at the end of this. Once we do eventually come out, um, the better for it, hopefully. Uh, Adam, just pull the blanket down a little bit on the, on the face. You're sort of smothering Georgie there. Um, <laughs> like you're the expert. <laughs> on, tell me, tell me, mate. How, I know you're thinking about the bub, but Friday night, where did you watch your game? You watched it at home. You couldn't be at the ground. You had to be, you had to be playing or, or part of the staff. How did you enjoy watching? And how did you think your team played? Yeah, well, I've never been a good watcher. So, um, firstly, that sucked because I wanted to be out there, yeah. but. Um, as soon as you realise you can't play, it's the first thing you, you do is, is support them and um, know all the hard work that we've put in over the preseason has been for that round one game. And it's always it's always been the case. Uh, every year that I've been involved in the AFL, we circle round one and um, the preseason is a build up to that moment. So um, I couldn't be more prouder of how the boys went. Um, I was sitting in the sitting in the lounge having some pizza, waiting for uh, the day to come when Georgie came out and um, screaming my head off celebrating because. Um, I feel like we put in one of the best performances we've put in um, as a footy team for a long, long time. And um, you know, the way we finished last year in that prelim final to the way we started this season, um, if there was a season, it was really going to set us up going forward. But um, if that's the only game we play this year, then I'm, I'm very proud to have, um, you know, have been a part of that, uh, the footy club as a whole and be a part of the journey that we took to get to that first game and um, you know, really play well against a really good quality opposition who who are really a great team and, um, you know, I would have anticipated to have a really good year in the Bulldogs. So um, they played really good. Um, the shortened quarters was interesting. It was, um, you know, it was uh, over before you could blink. So I really enjoyed that aspect because um, I think both teams really took the game on and, and wanted to score. And um, I think all the games were, were really high scoring over the weekend. So it was exciting to watch. But, um, yeah, it was really good to see the boys put into practice what we trained over the preseason and um, put in a really good four-quarter performance. Well, Adam, enjoy this time in your life. Yes, it's uh, what's one's lost and one's gained, and the gain is far more significant than what's on hold at the moment. So I know you've got our flowers. We won't hand them to you because you've got a rather precious commodity in your hand. So good luck to you and Kimmy, and it's lovely to meet Georgie, and we look forward to seeing you in the near future. Thanks so much, guys. Love you all. Good on you. Adam, Adam buddy. This has been a Fox Sports production.